I recently went on a camping trip to an area by a lake and while I was packing for it, I was trying to decide what watch to take. Now, I thought about the conditions and access to water for various activities and it made sense to bring something rugged with ample water resistance, so the Seiko King Turtle made its way to the forefront of my mind. But as I looked in my watch box, I suddenly had a change of heart. I took my Rolex GMT Master 2 as my companion for this camping trip, and although it was a last minute decision, it was one I was glad I made. Many of us get caught up with this idea of fear, fear of damaging our expensive and cherished timepieces, fear of losing them, or fear of them losing their value because of some scratches, fear of wearing them. While I do wear this watch, there is a reserved feeling when considering it for more of those outdoor adventures and activities. It's not my first choice for situations like this, nor is it the best choice, but it was definitely more than capable for the job, and that's something I feel like I tend to overlook. I kind of create this list in my head of all the risks and dangers that could affect my watch, but forget that, many watches are overbuilt for the things we put them through despite how precious they may seem. And when I think back on this camping trip, there really wasn't much risk at all. There were some moments in the water which were nowhere near the water resistance limit of the watch. I did some kayaking in the lake and had a great time soaking in the environment. It was calming moving around the lake and seeing the ducks swim around. It was like I was one of them. I did some failed fishing where I didn't catch a single thing, but it was just nice standing on the shore, looking into the soothing water, and I appreciated the slow pace of the experience compared to my usual everyday life, and in a way, it contrasted the busy nature of the watch itself. There were times of general exploring through the woods, looking for firewood, and admittedly, looking for some good backdrops for me to place the watch in so I could get some shots for you all. It was refreshing to shoot on the go spontaneously, and nice to experiment with placement and composition. Sure, there were branches and leaves brushing against it here and there, but that's to be expected and it wasn't something I was worried about. There was exposure to different temperature ranges from cold nights to hot fires, nothing the watch couldn't handle, nothing majorly concerning in general, and nothing I was concerned about in the moment, because I was in the moment, enjoying the fact that I had the watch on my wrist. It was fun to wear the GMT Master 2 where it hadn't been before, and every time I glanced at my wrist, there was this feeling of excitement that made me want to take it everywhere. The only thing that bugged me was wearing it to sleep. I like to keep my watch on at all times when I'm camping, but there were some nights where I had to take it off due to its bulkiness and sharp slab sides. Other than that, having the GMT Master 2 with me was quite pleasant. It's like the watch got a second life. It was no longer that watch I'd hold off for meetings, special events, or fancy occasions. It was now a watch I could pretty much take wherever I want, and the fear factor was now gone. I didn't intend to make a video out of the trip, but I think it was a great opportunity to present something different to the watch community and just showcase watches outside of studios and carefully planned setups. When I was taking shots of the watch, some of my friends would make comments like, should you be doing that? Isn't that risky? Or aren't you scared of ruining it? And I just thought about you guys, my community. I thought about how wearing the watch could help some of you get over the fear of wearing your watches. and. Even though some of you aren't fearful at all, it's just nice to see the GMT Master 2 in a variety of environments, so I saw it as a win-win situation. It even got to the point where my friends started to get involved in the process. As we were venturing, they would keep a lookout for interesting locations, and it was quite a heartwarming experience seeing the people around me showing an interest in my own interest. Some were not even watch people at all, but they too recognized the novelty and risks of bringing the GMT Master 2, and I think that's what made wearing the watch even more enjoyable, just knowing it wasn't the usual environment for the watch and wearing it anyway. We work hard to be able to afford our watches, no matter the price point, and it's important to remember that we purchased them because they made us happy. 
because we want to enjoy them, not be burdened or worried by them. And this camping trip was an opportunity for me to fully enjoy my watch. I didn't use the GMT function. I didn't use the bezel. I didn't use the watch as intended, but regardless, it made me appreciate the timepiece more. It was just nice to wear the watch for the sake of wearing it. I made sure to enjoy my time and not think about it too much. Of course, I was conscious of getting shots of the watch, but in terms of making sure it wasn't damaged, being overprotective and safeguarding it from the elements, I just went with the flow of things, let go of my worries and just let it be. Taking the GMT Master 2 with me on this camping trip was a spur of the moment decision. It made the trip more memorable and I hope it gave you guys a good look at the watch in a different setting. My precious watch now resembles another precious moment. And the important thing here is, wear what you want, wear what makes you happy. It's okay to be cautious and wary, and it's okay to set watches for separate occasions. I'm not saying we should all suddenly take our watches on crazy adventures, but if you've been thinking about it, why not? You might find joy in it like I did. Let me know in the comments if you've ever taken an expensive watch or any watch in general to a place or occasion where it usually isn't seen. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has thought about this and I'm curious to see what others have done. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more watch content. I'll see you in the next one.